You should acknowledge the one that provides for you. Amen. Bible says it's reasonable service, right there. Amen. You ain't even did nothing. Uh -huh. You ain't did nothing. Uh -huh. It's reasonable for the one who provides all of your needs and all of your desires. Yeah, yeah. Is it reasonable mm -hmm. to praise him? Yes. Or you got, I mean, you got to reach really deep to say thank you. No. No. Uh, it's reasonable. You ought to want to serve. Yes, yes. You ought to want to praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. You ought to want to tell somebody about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. It's reasonable. It's, yeah. it's such a small thing. For somebody who snatched you out of hate. Mm -hmm. What? Don't you know? I mean, I say if he never did any other thing. Anybody in here know what it's like in hell? Mm -hmm. Ever read about how it is in hell? Mm -hmm. My God. I don't want to go in there. Not even a day. I don't even want to. Uh, I don't even want to watch no documentary on TV uh, about him because I believe I won't even be able to sleep if I even just see a picture of just what is written in the Bible about him. I believe that that thing. Oh my God! I don't want to see it. I don't want to know it. I don't, that's the, the minimum again. Bare minimum information is all the information I need pertaining to him. I'm not going. Revelation is enough. Woo! That's this is plenty more than enough. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If everybody yeah. could hear just that, then maybe they could turn their life around. It's reasonable service. Amen. 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 Come on, let's put your hands together for the praise team. Amen. We are standing here today, of course, because it is Women's Sunday. Amen. Amen. So we're giving our pastor a little bit of a respite from his normal routine, let him rest a little bit, and also yes. giving some other people an opportunity to tell what they know about him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that you have to contend for your faith. Mm -hmm. Contend. He's a contender. He's the number one contender. He's the one that's got to fight the champion, right? in order to be the champion. He's the number one contender. He's fought a lot of battles, but he ain't fought the, the champion. Yeah, okay. But he has fought his way to a space where he now is ready to, to challenge, right? To fight. I say, like, you got to be ready to contend. You, you go out to fight. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Some people ain't never been in the fight. I ain't never really been in no fight, but I feel like I used all this time to get ready for the fight. <laughs> I ain't never fought nobody, but I believe I done seen enough fights and thought about it long enough that if it should ever happen, I should be ready to fight. I'm taking this whole time training. Amen. And don't worry about it because the Bible say that if you if you show up to the fight, Mm -hmm. Right, if you trust him, if, mm -hmm. if you go with him, then mm -hmm. victory is guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen. And so we're going to have a speaker today who's going to come up and enlighten us. Hallelujah. Let Amen. us in on the things that she has learned mm -hmm. and has studied and has heard from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be enlightened. Amen. 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 One thing about the word that I love is that the word itself is alive. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. All hey, by itself, it's a lie. All by. We were selling barbecue, and this lady was talking to me. She was just talking about her uh, her passenger was a, like a ninety year old man, and he. She said she's her care, his caregiver, and he. Uh, she tries to tell him about Jesus, and she said he was crying one uh, the other day, and he was saying that he missed his daughter. His daughter had passed away, and she said, "Well." It's, it's a way for you to see her again. Mm -hmm. And so she took that opportunity to try to talk to him about Jesus to be mm -hmm. saved. Mm -hmm. Because his daughter was saved. And he, she says he almost immediately cut her off. He said, listen, I don't need you to preach to me. I'm an old man. I don't need to hear mm -hmm. all of that. And she mm -hmm. said, I felt so bad. And I told her, I said, you don't have to feel bad. Mm -hmm. 
I say, you say what God leads you to say. Amen. And the greatest thing about the word is that it's alive all by itself. All by itself. It doesn't even need your help. You don't even have to explain it all the way. If you just throw it in there. Listen, if I heard somebody say, if you can hum, you can hear. If you say hum, you heard. You heard. If you can hum, you can hear. So the fact that he said, don't start preaching to me, let me know he heard what you said. Yeah. And the word itself is alive. Mm -hmm. yes. the, the, the pastor so, always tells us about the word dunamis, which means that whatever oh is needed is contained mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. of that thing, the power mm -hmm. to manifest that thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's okay. Mm -hmm. If he tell you to just don't worry, I already heard the word. That's enough. He yeah. might never, ever, all the way until the day before he dies. Decide he's going to hear mm -hmm. that word. But as soon as his ears open up, the word itself mm -hmm. will explode and it will be enough to take him. Yeah. To see his daughter. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It'll yeah. be enough to take him. Oh, Hallelujah. My God. Oh, my God. Thank you. It's not my time mm. to preach. Mm. I love the Lord. Mm. Yes, Can you God. imagine that the word is enough? Yes. To yeah. take you to see your father. Hallelujah. Mm. Now I want to hear me who is angry. My God. My God. Keep us from mm. Mm. My God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hey. Let's put our hands together. Oh. Say thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. 
we receive his spirit. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 tells us in his spirit, his spirit bears witness with our spirit, mm -hmm. making it known that we belong to him, that yes. we are his children. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are the children of God. Trust in God is something we should practice each and every day. Mm -hmm. Reminding ourselves who we are to him and definitely who he is to us. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the word trust. Trust being a verb means to have a firm belief of truth, ability, and strength of someone or something. To place confidence in or rely on something. That's action. Mm -hmm. I put my trust in you. Mm -hmm. Another definition of the word trust is actually to give somebody a trust. Um, trust is a fiduciary relationship. That's right. mm -hmm. Fiduciary is someone who acts on the behalf of another person. Mm -hmm in which one party, known as the truster, mm -hmm. gives another party, the trustee, right. the right to hold title to their property and their assessments. Mm -hmm. I mean, their assets, I'm sorry. Yeah. So repeat after me, it's in my bag. It's in my bag. Now, God, being our truster, mm -hmm. gives us his children, we are his children, mm -hmm. his trustees, mm -hmm. the right to hold title to property, or assets mm -hmm. put for the benefit of the third party. Third mm -hmm. party is the souls, mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. John 10 and 30 tells us that the Father and Son are one. Mm -hmm. So Jesus can be represented as our truster. And as our truster, we have ownership to everything that he's had. We are heirs to God, right? Yes. And joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Everything he has belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Say it with me again. It's in my it's in my bag. It's in my bag. In this relationship with God, Hebrews 4 and 16 tells us that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. Mm -hmm. That we may obtain mercy and find grace and help mm -hmm. in the time of need. Right. The Bible tells us in Matthew 7 that if an evil father knows how to good, give good gifts to their children. Mm -hmm. How much more will your heavenly father give gifts mm -hmm. for those who ask? Early in that chapter, Jesus tells the people to keep on asking. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you will receive what you ask for. Mm -hmm. To keep on seeking mm -hmm. and you will find. Mm -hmm. Keep on knocking mm -hmm. and the door will be open oh, yeah. to you. Yeah. For everyone who asks mm -hmm. will receive. Everyone who seeks will find, and to everyone that knocks, that door will open. Mm -hmm. It's with the boldness yes. that you ask. Yes. It's with the perseverance mm -hmm. that you seek. Mm -hmm. And it's with open heart and the open arms that when you knock on that door, everything that you're asking for, that you receive it mm -hmm. from God. Yes. Right. So I encourage you today to trust God. Yes. So, what are these gifts and talents that's given to us? Mm -hmm. We have love, we have power, we have forgiveness, we have wisdom, our praise, our song, our peace are just a few. Mm -hmm. Trusting God would allow us mm -hmm. to give these gifts freely. They were freely given to us. Yes, that's right. Knowing that he is the supplier of all our needs. All right. You may work on a job, but it's God that gives you the strength mm -hmm. to do the job. He yeah. gives you the knowledge, the yeah. understanding, the ability to do the job. Yeah. The air that you breathe, mm -hmm. that's God. Yeah. You waving your hand, mm -hmm. that's God. Yeah. Singing your song, mm -hmm. giving your praise, being able to sleep throughout the night's watch, mm -hmm. nobody but God. Nobody. The Bible tells us that he has given the angels charge mm -hmm. over us. Yes. At least we dash our foot. Yeah upon the stone. He's going to keep us. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. No hurt, harm, or danger yeah. can come near me nor my dwelling. Mm -hmm. All right, now. He's concerned about us. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, would know, he would not suffer my foot to be moved. Mm -hmm. yeah. My God don't sleep, no slumber. All right, all right. He's on the clock 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, God. Uh -huh. We are the ones <laughs> who worry about time. We are the ones that worry about time. Yeah, but God lives in and out of time. Yeah. Our days are numbered. Yeah. Oh boy. Glory. 
Shout out to God. Glory to God. But right now, I can say, even in our numbered days, God has been good to us. Yes. yes. Why wouldn't we trust him? All mm -hmm. right now. You drove your car here. Mm -hmm. Everybody in your family mm -hmm. doing just fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your friends, even your foes yes. are doing yes. just fine. Right. Yes. Did you tell God, thank you for yeah. the same travels? Yeah. Did you tell him, thank you for keeping my loved ones and my yeah. family? Yeah. We yeah. need to begin to start looking at the small things mm -hmm. that God do for us each yeah. and every day. Yeah. And we need yeah. to keep a praise in our mouth. Yeah. Continuously telling him how good he is mm -hmm. and how he's been good yeah. to us. Uh -huh. yeah. Trust God. Next, I want to ask you. How is your connection to the source? All right now. Talking about God. God yeah. is our source. How is your connection to the source? A source that's undying. A source that's loving. A source that's reliable. A source that has proven to be faithful over and over again. He has never lost a battle, has never yeah. lost a case. Oh, God. He has been a battle axe for each one of us, yeah. time yeah. and time again. Yeah. In every situation, mm -hmm. every trial, mm -hmm. he has been there yeah. and showed himself mm -hmm. faithful. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Bible tells us to put on our full armor of God mm -hmm. that we may be able to stand yeah. against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. Putting on the armor yeah. helps, us, helps our connection stay strong with our God. Mm -hmm. It keeps us battle ready for whatever knocks at our door. Yes, yes. I told the ladies yesterday <laughs> at the book club, I told them, I say, sometime when the enemy attack, mm -hmm. I say, it's like I be sitting there and I be having, think about putting on the arm of God. I say, mm -hmm. for me, I have my revolver there. Oh, yeah. And every bullet I'm putting in the mm -hmm. cases and yeah. thinking about the scripture and what God said mm -hmm. about my situation. Yeah. But then something came to me, but now sometimes you might need a, a more massive gun. I thought about a 12 gauge that shotgun. You know, that 12 gauge, when you shoot that one time, you got multiple. Yeah. Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? You got a spray that's covering a whole lot of territory. Yeah. Right? You might got something going on here, you might got something going on with your family away all in different places. But then I have to sit back and declare what the word of God yeah, yeah, tells yeah. me. Uh -huh. He say, by his stripes, yeah. we yeah. are healed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He say, I am delivered. Yeah. I am forgiven. Uh -huh. I have been set free. Yeah. Yeah. My child is saved. Yeah. Yeah. My family is doing just fine. Yeah. Perfect, uh -huh. perfect health. Yes. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Then I go and to thought about who he is to me. Uh -huh. I say, well, my God, you are my way maker. Yes. You are my miracle worker. Yes. You are my bomb of Gilead. Yes. You are awesome God. You oh, are yeah. all powerful, yes. all knowing. Uh -huh. You are the lily of the valley. Yes. The great I am. Great I am. He's the kings of kings yeah. and lord of lords. He's yes, a yes. bad man. Yes, yes, he's yes. a bad man. Yes, yes. And he's God all by himself. Oh, he don't need yes. nobody else help. No. He is God. Amen. <laughs> I always reflect back on the story about David and Goliath in Samuel, 1 Samuel 17. David was the smallest of his mm -hmm. brothers. Mm -hmm. And even when the uh, prophet went to go look for him, the king went to go look for him, he wasn't even in the right place. They had to go find him. Right. But David had a relationship with yes. God. Yes. <clears throat> David had God pumping through his hearts and his veins. Yes. He loved God. God had brought David through many situations where he faced a bear, a lion, and was victorious over those things. So the same giant that David faced, David told that giant, he said, listen, on today, <laughs> Today I come before thee right. in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, that, that who thou hast defiled. Yes. And on this day I'm going to cut off your head and feed it to the birds and the beasts of this earth. Yes. David trusts God. And in the act of his trust, he showed the people how great God is. Yes. 
God wants to be glorified in all that you do. Amen. When you can sit back and say, boy, it was nobody but him. It's never by your might. It's never by your power.